So Aaron, this is the first step for the trauma eraser, or as I like to call it, take the charge off of it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is, is to remember an event or a situation, like a series of events. And I don't wanna know what they are. I do not wanna know what they are. This is only for you to be thinking about. I want you to remember a situation and I'm gonna take it through you, take you through it very quickly. And part of you is not gonna like that because you may wanna linger and kind of get into the feeling, but that's the whole point is to like allow the feelings to release so they don't bother you anymore. So do you have something that, that is still kind of sticky for you or, or makes you upset? For sure. Okay. So um, if you would close and I, only have to pick, and I only have to pick one. Well, I want to train you how to do this one specifically, and then we're going to go to a generalized. But this, one, this step is important so that your brain okay. knows, oh, that's how I do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So if you'll close your eyes and just imagine the situation. And it's in full Technicolor. You know, you may have some feelings about it. And now you're just going to imagine you're in a beautiful theater, maybe one of those classic theaters in downtown Chicago that they've renovated. And you are sitting on the eighth row in the center looking at a movie screen. You're not on the stage. You're in the theater. Do you have a sense of that? Yeah. Okay, so on the screen, this whole situation is going to play through from beginning to end very quickly. And just go with it. So on the count of three, you begin. One, two, three. Goes, moves forward very quickly. And come to the end of the situation. Now it's stopped. Okay. And now you see on the screen, you're still in the theater. You see on the screen, it's going to move backwards. So everybody is, all the words are, are being reversed and all the movements are being reversed from the end to the beginning very quickly. Now you're back at the beginning. And now all of the color drains out of the film. So it's become black and white. Can you imagine that? I'm there. Okay. So it's all drained out. So it's going to go forward very quickly. To the end. Now backwards in black and white very quickly. To the beginning. And now that crazy film is turning upside down. So all the characters, their heads are at the bottom and their feet are at the top black and white from the beginning to the end. And now from the end to the beginning. Okay, and now the film fades away and on the screen is a picture of you happy or neutral, having released those feelings around that situation. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes and tell me how you're feeling about that situation. Yes. Yeah, so when I think of stressful situations, I feel it here mm -hmm. and my ears start to do some weird pulsing. Mm -hmm. So that came up in the beginning. I thought of the situation um, and it really kind of decreased at the end okay when it turned upside down which was kind of hard for my mind to do it <laughs> in the beginning yeah but it changed it and then seeing myself happy sitting in my backyard mm -hmm. really like my ears started to the pulsing really came down great 
well, should we do it again with another situation to, to, um, yeah, okay. So let me ask you to think of a, another situation. Again, don't tell us what it is. Um, and rate your stress on that. I, I forgot to ask you the first time. On zero to 10 with 10 being extremely stressed and zero being, eh, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Where are you with this second situation? Definitely eight. An eight. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to do the same thing with this situation. So close your eyes. You're in the theater. You're happy. Sitting back on the eighth row, looking at the screen. And someone took a picture, took a movie of this whole situation. Some observer took a video of this. And as you're on the eighth row, you actually rise up and go back into the projector booth, high up in the theater. So the screen is kind of small and you can see Aaron's, the back of Aaron's hair in the eighth row. So you're really dissociated from it now. Do you have a sense of that? I do. Okay, so staying in the projector booth, we're gonna run this um, situation through this routine again. And I'll just guide you through it. So somebody took a movie, it's in full color, it's gonna move forward on the count of three, and then it's gonna move backwards. Okay, on the count of three, one, two, three, begin at the beginning and go quickly, quickly, quickly to the end. Okay, and now it's going to go back to the beginning. Quickly, 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 back to the beginning. Okay, so you're still in the projector booth. And now all the color drains out of the film. It is now black and white. Staying in the projector booth. I want you to go from the beginning to the end in black and white. Going forward to the end, and you're at the end now, and now it's gonna come backwards in black and white to the beginning. And now the film turns upside down, you're still in the projector booth, watching the film upside down in black and white from the beginning to the end of that experience, beginning, all the way to the end. And now backwards, upside down, black and white, staying in the, the projector room, all the way to the beginning. Good, good. Now that film disappears, just drains away. And in its place is a picture of you in your backyard, happy. Okay. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And tell me how, how that feels. Doing it a second time, it came again. Uh -huh. right? And headache, the ear issue, but doing it again, it went down quicker. Right. It didn't take till the end to start to come down. It was the first, after you said, I'm looking at myself and I felt that removal, it right. like washed down. Yes. So that's, that's a real um, key point of this, of dissociating from the experience. <laughs> because the mm -hmm. color and the movement is retained in our brain and the emotions are too. So that's yeah. what, you know, that's what triggers the, the trauma. Oh, and I'm a firm believer. I try my own self when I get in these modes to be like, make some space, make some space. And when you said, go back into the booth, I was like, there's the space that I need. Yes. Yeah. So really like, Saying, like I'm not I don't have to be stuck 
give yourself some space. Fabulous. And where would you rate that situation now on the on a trauma scale, zero to ten? I think it it is, it's come down to a five. Great. Would you like to do that one one more time to um see if we could sure. get any lower? Okay. Sure. Okay. All right. So sometimes three times is a charm. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, it's been this has been stuck for years. So any little progress i appreciate great well i'd love to get you lower than a five uh, no i'm i'm in it okay so all right so you're in the in the um eighth row of the theater there's a screen on the stage and you are lifting yourself up in your imagination and going back into the, the projector booth and you're looking at the um film projector projector and you're going you know this thing's really kind of weird it does some weird things but it's okay so you're in the projector booth and you, are you gonna we're gonna do the same situation you just did okay so imagine that in full color up on the screen but you're very removed from it because you can see yourself sitting on the eighth row you can see the back of your hair how does your hair look by the way are you happy with how it looks yeah, it's big and full and yeah, you got some happy hair happening. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you look, you look up onto the screen, and you notice, well, darn, there's that situation again. Okay, it's in color. All right, so we're just gonna do the do the thing. So beginning in the beginning watching the players play through, watching all the activity happen, all that happened, going all the way to the end and ending it. And now it's gonna play backwards from the end to the beginning very quickly. Backwards, 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 backwards. Yeah. Okay, and now all that color drains out just like it turns from color to black and white. And going forward from the beginning to the end in a quick manner, but seeing and being present to everything that's going on, but you're removed from it now. And now it goes backwards from the end to the beginning. You're staying in the projector booth. And now everything turns upside down. All the players' heads are upside down. And you move from the beginning to the end. The end to the beginning. And then the film disappears. And in its place is a picture of you happy in your backyard. integrating that completely as I count from one to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Integrating completely now this release. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay, how you doing? I feel calmer. Good. So I would, I would like to say, give a little bit of what I'm picturing sure. that it was um, when I got laid off, getting that phone call mm. and go, I still, it's still burned in my brain of like picking up that phone, hearing that message and then putting that phone down and just feeling broken. Uh, but going through it, I got to the end where I was putting the phone back down from mm -hmm. the end to the beginning and kind of like, I'm so tired of having this heavy phone in my hand. Yes. So it was getting, it's getting me to a different space out of the hurt and the anger yeah. to like, I need to, I need to let this phone go. Well, that, I mean, isn't that a perfect 
situation for so many people now who've been furloughed, uh, fired, or yes, yeah. So it, thank you for that. It hits me like when other people, I was like, oh, that feeling of like your stomach sinking and sitting there, like, like I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Right. It, yeah, it's it burns. It sticks somewhere inside your mind yeah. and body. Yeah, and that's why we're doing this so that so we can get unstuck yes. and more resourceful and go, right, can't do that job now. What else can I do? Right. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. okay. So what's your number now? You were at a five. Is it has it changed at all? I think it did go down because I got to that point where that phone is more of what I see. Like I need to give this away or let it go um, rather than this whirlwind of like emotion. Yeah. So it did go down um, and my ears stopped um, throbbing. Right. Um, so I do think it went down a couple. I would say I'm at like a three, four. Great. Okay. Um, Good. So um, could, in, in your imagination, could you imagine, oh, all right, this is not exactly part of the trauma eraser, but it's another NLP technique called divine intervention. Would you be willing to let that phone go out to the horizon, be changed into something much more positive? Oh, I would love the phone to go anywhere besides okay. my hand, but yes, it's gotta go. Gotta okay, go. all right, so close your eyes again. And just imagine you have that really heavy phone and you're able to throw it to the horizon so you can barely see it. And some divine force, whatever you call that, comes in and on the count of three, it changes it into something much more beneficial for you. One, two, three. Bing! It's changed and now it comes back and hovers in front of you. It may be a phone, it may be something else. What do you notice? Um, that I feel warm mm -hmm. and able to, I'm thinking of a um, shooting star and just the beauty of it. Mm, great. And so as that shooting star kind of um, is with you while you're with it, what kind of gift does it have for you? It has the gift of, I was sitting in my car and it's telling me it's time to get out. Let's go. Mm. Let's move on. Mm. Let's move on. We're out of the space. And so would the shooting star be able to give you some guidance about where to move? Definitely. Great. I'm just gonna give you a minute to, to be with that and to follow the guidance. And you may not get to the end of the path, but maybe you'll get another step along the path, which is really all we can do is take one step at a time. And I'll give you a minute to imagine that. Good, good. Now coming back to the present moment, just notice what's different within you. What do you yeah. notice? That I was able to get out of the car and walk down the street with the star telling me, maybe you're better off without that job. Wow. And let's go get some green tea ice cream. Like, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go sit down and have some ice cream and just leave it behind. Great. Great. So now when you think about that phone call, where is your stress level? 
Okay, let's say down to a three. Great. So we're at a solid three. Excellent. So we went from eight to three. Mm -hmm. Good. Good work. Okay. So now your brain knows that that release process. And you can go back and do it on that situation another time if you would like, or you don't have to, because we're going to go into a more generalized um, trauma eraser now. So that was step one. And then we added in the divine intervention, which you can always do that too. Um, and then into a generalized situation. And Adele, I do want to give you some feedback. When I do this, my hands get sweaty, my armpits sweat. It feels like my body is releasing something. So it really, I, I love this work because it does feel like some body work too. Yeah. It's something releasing. Yes. Yes. Well, if you've ever been to a massage therapist who is really good and they get to some point where your trauma is encased and encapsulated in your body and they help you work it out, the body remembers everything. It does. It remembers everything. And it is our subconscious mind. We don't realize that, but it is our subconscious mind. It processes so much information all the time for us. And so to have that body release is such a great sign that, yes, yes, yes. yes the body is releasing. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to have that, but you personally right. did. Yes. Not everybody might. I, I don't necessarily feel heat in my, in my hands or my face, mm -hmm. but I, I, I get a little twitchy. I can tell my nervous system is kind of yeah. rewiring. I'm with you. And so that's why we're going to do the generalized ones. So what happens in trauma is we have the trigger and then we have the loop. So, oh, I just had a disappointment. I just got scared for myself. Like maybe you did with, your, with the phone call. Then you mm -hmm. go into that loop of, and who knows how the loop got created, but it's, they call it neuro, neurological pathways or neural pathways. And it's a, a loop. So this trauma eraser is designed to disrupt the loop mm -hmm. so that you can build new neural pathways, more resilient, more resourceful, more like, I'm going to release it and move on, man. It's not, exactly. it's not serving me. Exactly. Okay. So in this one, you can do it for overall general trauma. I find it works a little bit better if you give it um, like a topic, like, we're gonna take a topic. So um, you don't have to tell me what the topic is. If you want to, you can, um, but choose a topic. So let me give you some examples. It could be um, disappointment. It could be um, uh, financial fears. It could be relationship disappointment. It mm -hmm. could be abuse. I mean, it could, I mean, sure. people, people get abused. Of course. It happens. It happens. Um, it could, let's see, what else could it be? All right, I'm going to tell you this. If anybody is watching this and uses this, don't do it on something that's really positive because it will work on that too. Okay. Um, I, told my I told my friend that when I was introducing her to this and she goes, where were you was when I was in love with that married man? Because mm, right. it could have taken some of the charge <laughs> off of that, that um, what do you call it when you're addiction? Addiction to a person, a, or, food, yeah. a substance. I'm not saying it's going to work 100% for everybody. I'm not saying that. Right. But it can help. Like if I had a jelly bean addiction and I'm staying away from sugar, I would use it on that. I would say anywhere where I'm, I'm, you know, connected to jelly beans in a positive way and I don't want to be, I'm going to use it on that. Right. And we're just looking to shift. Right. I mean, it's a miracle. It's just helping to shift. So then it can lead to not maybe eating jelly beans. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so. What we're going to do is you're going to imagine, uh, so you choose a topic in your mind. You choose a topic. If you want to share it, you do. If you don't, don't. Okay. So I'll give you a minute to choose a topic. Okay. Okay. Got it. 
All right, so as you close your eyes, you're gonna imagine a timeline from your beginning, from your conception, up to the present moment and then beyond. So from your beginning in this lifetime to the end of this lifetime. And along that timeline, in, in the topic that you chose are the positive and neutral experiences you had around that. <clears throat> positive and neutral. And they look and feel different than any negatively charged things. Anything that upset you, um, are still weighing on you, anything that is um, heavy for you, anything that has a negative charge on it. That's what we're going to erase at this time. Okay, so do you have a, a um, do you have a sense of the positive neutral as different from the negative? Yes, definitely. Okay, so you can leave your eyes closed. And on the count of three, you're going to create an eraser. It can be any kind of eraser. It can be any kind of uh, image that you want on the count of three. One, two, three. So this, this eraser is a magical eraser. It's self-intelligent. It knows how to erase the negative charge on those, on those situations, those events, and those experiences from your past and anything in your future that would be similar to that. Okay, do you have your eraser? I do. Okay, so again, we're gonna go pretty quickly because we don't want you to dwell on stuff. We just want to erase it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your eraser and it's gonna do the work, but you're gonna go along with it so you have the body experience of the erasing. On the count of three, you're gonna drop into the beginning of your timeline and come up through time and space and I'll walk you through that. And the eraser is going to do its work. On the count of three. One, two, three. Dropping in now with your eraser and coming up through your conception, your prenatal experience, your birth experience. You're an infant. You're a toddler. You're in elementary school. You're in high school, you're in college, you're in graduate school, you're taking your first professional job, you're having the relationships that you have, you're coming up through young adulthood, coming into your present age, and the eraser is taking you with it out into the future and erasing any traumatic experiences related to this issue out into your present, your future, all the way out on this town timeline, erasing a any negative experiences relating to this issue. So they are not there as magnets for your future. And now come back to the present moment and when you're ready, open your eyes. And tell me what you noticed. Felt so good to <laughs> erase. And I picked for this is from childhood. I love and I'm so excited they came back. Unicorns. So I picked a unicorn eraser and it felt I've been going through a terrible, nasty custody battle. Mm -hmm. And it felt so good to erase those checks I've been writing to my attorney and to the court psychologist and to the GAL of just like, get out of here. Like I'm, I'm done writing these checks. And it felt really good. Like I'm not taking this into the future. Great, good. So one of the things that, that um, we know about energy is that if we're, if we're pulsing a, a specific frequency of, oh crap, it's happening again, we will draw those situations and those people to us. 
So doing this, the point of doing this is to erase the beacon of take my money, take my money, take my Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So best practice is to do it two more times just to make sure we've got everything and anything that's related to, because it could relate to an experience you had at six. Like, yeah. oh, I don't get to keep my money. I, I don't know. Right. We don't have to know. That's the beauty. Yes. Of it. We do not have to know. So close your eyes, create your timeline, and just notice along the timeline if there are any other negative representations of this issue that can be erased. Do you have a sense that there might be something else there? Yeah. Okay. So taking your beautiful unicorn eraser, you're holding it, you're hovering above the moment of your conception. On the count of three, you're gonna drop in and come up through time and I'll guide you again coming up to the present moment and flowing out into the future. On the count of three, one, two, three, drop in, allowing the eraser to move you forward through your conception, your prenatal time, your birth experience, infancy, toddlerhood, school, teenage years, young adulthood, education, work. Coming up to the present moment and allowing that beautiful eraser to take you with it into the future to erase the negative charge on any similar issues to the ones that you've been erasing so far. coming to the end of the timeline and coming back to the present moment. What did you notice on that pass? I noticed that when it comes to money, I do have memories back when I was in elementary school. I remember my mom not being able to buy steak because I really wanted a grilled steak and how it bothered me. Mm. Um, and I buy steak all the time for myself now, mm -hmm. but that still was there. Mm. And then going forward of after grad school, coming out with such a low salary mm -hmm. and how much of a struggle that was mm -hmm. to get the experience I needed to move on, but just starting at such a low salary in social work. Yeah. Um, and how that doesn't have to keep me stuck. I'm right. continuing to move. Yes. Move. Good. Good. Some of the feelings associated with it. Right. Okay. So let's take one more pass. And there um, may not be a whole lot left to clean up, but whatever's there, let's just let you clean that up. And um, then we'll do a, another little process and then we'll be done. Okay. Okay, so closing your eyes and you're hovering above the moment of your conception, you're seeing your timeline, you may see some negatively charged events, situations, memories along the timeline. You don't have to know what they are, they're just representations of hey, there's still something stored over here. Come and erase this. Your mind knows what to do. Your eraser knows what to do. So you just need to let it do its work. On the count of three, you'll drop into the timeline and come up through time, moving into the present moment and going out to the, into the future. On the count of three, one, two, three. Dropping in with your eraser. The eraser's doing the work. It's so intelligent. It knows where those things are that are ready to be released, ready to be erased, and it takes you with it as it does the erasing.
coming up through conception, gestation, birth, infancy, toddlerhood, elementary school, junior high, high school, moving on into a young adulthood, your education, your work, your relationships, just being aware of all of that. And if anything's negatively charged around this issue, the eraser is getting it. Coming up into your professional life, coming up into the present day and moving out into the future. And coming to the end of this lifetime and coming back into the present moment. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and let me know how that was for you. It was so great on the third time because it felt less heavy and it felt as I got to the end I wasn't stuck thinking about what I erased I was able to like go forward and have some hope that things will continue to be good and prosperous great so that's the last process I would like to um, introduce you to it's called future pacing again it's from NLP and what you do is you close your eyes and I'm going to ask your system to integrate these positive changes on all levels, lifetimes and languages, resolving all the history on the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Integrating on all levels, mental, emotional, physical and spiritual. And you may want just to press your fingers into your thigh or to clasp your hands just for a physical trigger. Integrating completely now. Feel that happen and let me know when it feels complete. Feel complete. Okay. So closing your eyes one more time. I want you to imagine getting a great night's sleep tonight and awakening in the morning, stretching out between the sheets and just noticing any difference you feel as you think about prosperity and your future and your career. And now it's a week from today, it's, uh, it's next Friday. And you notice that things are different. You may not know why, but your attitude is different, your opportunities are different, you're making clear decisions that feel really good. Just notice any differences in a week. And now it's a month from today. And as you look back over the last month, you go, wow, I really covered some ground. Things are looking really different. I'm feeling different. I'm seeing that things can continue to get more different and more better, and more prosperous. And now as that future self looks back at today's Erin, let her give you a message from the future. You don't have to tell us what it is, but just receive a message. And when you've received the message, receive a gift from this future self.
now. When you're ready, bring the gift and the message back into the present moment and just notice how you would like to use that. So I think I will use it on days where I have some of that imposter syndrome come up or um, feeling like, you know, someone else could do this, but I can't. Mm. I'm like, nope, nope. I have that gift. Keep going. You got this. Great. Oh man, that is so, so, so powerful and important to have that knowing and that self messaging. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Okay. So, how are you feeling overall? I feel so much more calm. Good. And my tension headache, because this is consistent, mm -hmm. I store right here, has dissipated some where it's not throbbing and just overwhelming the side of my head where it's like it's come down Good. and I can breathe and I can go about my day a little lighter. Right. And, and maybe having more space to make some decisions That's about true. the way ahead. Right. And letting go of some of that rage. I mean, that just like sits on me. And it's, I know it's unhealthy, but it's just like that stuck. Right. Like now being like, no, 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 you don't have to be stuck with this. It's time to get walk with that star and move on. Just Great. let it go. Good. Good. Well, thank you so much for, for oh, doing so this with me. Thank you. Thank and you. I, I do want to say again, this is not... Um, in, in place of professional advice. So if you have a, um, a doctor or a therapist that you're working with, please continue to see them and uh, take your meds if you're on medication. Um, because that's just the right and the safe thing to do. So Aaron, thank you so much. Thanks. And I'll see you. I'll see you later. Thanks.